Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. As you may or may not know, I haven't been a big fan of the Fox Exorcist TV series. At least not a fan of the first season. To me, it desperately tried to connect to the film and the novel's universe. In my opinion, Chapter 1 started the season off on the wrong foot. Especially with the scene involving Father Tomas researching exorcism online. He comes across a news article on the Georgetown exorcism of 40 years ago. This is where problems began. For a television series that claimed to be inspired by the novel and connected to its universe, the information it provided from the online article was inaccurate compared to Blatty's original content. The TV series article claimed that two Georgetown priests died on March 13th, while the novel placed their deaths at approximately mid-May. Had those responsible for researching the Exorcist novel read a little deeper, this mistake could have been avoided. Or was it a mistake? Where did the date March 13th come from? The television series has a flashback sequence in Chapter 8 where a young Reagan McNeil first encounters Captain Howdy using a Ouija board. A radio program is heard in the background. From the announcements, we can deduce that the month is most likely January and the year is 1973. The novel begins its story of Georgetown on April 1st with no real clue to the year. It would be easy to assume that the year is 1973 or the publishing year 1971, but the dates given throughout the novel do not correspond with either year. There are particular chapters focusing on Reagan's condition. Not only do these chapters provide dates, but their corresponding days in the week. Comparing these dates to those on real calendars, the 1973 equivalent are two days ahead and the 1971 dates are one day behind. The only years within range of the novel's publishing that work are 1966 and 1977. And still, these two years are incorrect. How can this be? How do I know this? It's because of the author's follow-up novel, Legion. Legion takes place in Georgetown 12 years after the McNeil exorcism and follows Detective Kinderman on his investigation of what appears to be the return of the serial killer known as the Gemini. The story begins Sunday, March 13, 1983, and it's implied that Father Karras died that very day, 12 years ago. Is this where Fox came up with their online article date, March 13, out of the novel Legion and not The Exorcist? And where did William Peter Blatty come up with March 13th? Did he forget his story's original timeline? The year in Legion can be easily found by the information given on the first victim's lab report. March 13th, 1983. If we subtract 12 years from this year, we get 1971, the year Father Karras died. Can I be sure of this date? Yes. Approximately halfway through the Legion novel, Detective Kinderman comes across a gravestone which reads Damien Karras, SJ 1928 to 1971. So the Exorcist novel takes place in the year 1971, even though the dates in that calendar year do not coincide. Why? And what happened to corrupt the Exorcist timeline? How could Blatty make these mistakes in the very year he had the novel published? All he would have had to do was to look at a calendar or move the days from the dates presented in the earlier chapters. Then the timeline may have been fine, at least for the first novel. As for Legion, perhaps Blatty felt confident enough not to refer back to the original Exorcist material to continue the story in Georgetown. It's possible that he confused the month of March for May. More so, he was unable to remember Father Karras' age who admitted to be 46 years old in the original novel, and in Legion, was revealed to be 43 by the dates on his tombstone. In the end, the only fault that Fox could have had in all this was not drawing from the original novel as source material. But how could anyone know that certain aspects of the timeline between Blatty's two novels would be flawed? Those answers remain with the late author. 